Now that we have patched our fixtures, we set our DMX output devices and we configured our IP addresses, we can start programming. The first step is to choose your fixtures by just clicking on them with the left mouse button inside of the fixtures window. The second step is to change the values of the fixtures by clicking onto the channels and moving the mouse horizontally while holding down the left mouse button. In this case we will change the values for blue, green or red. Per default, the programmer shows all values as percentage values. If you would like to use real DMX values instead, just click on the bottom right corner's Show Percent Values button and it will change to real DMX values. Instead of changing the DMX values manually, you can also choose the color picker to change the color. Just click onto the color picker icon in the bottom toolbar. The color picker allows you to easily change the color. You can also set the brightness or fill in your RGB or HSB values manually. Just choose a color and click the OK button. You can also do a so-called color spread by going back to the color picker, choosing a first color and then clicking onto color 2 and selecting a second color. You can find a preview of the color spread you just created below color 2. And you can also choose out of three different modes how the color spread should be done. You can choose between an RGB spread, an HSB short path spread from one color to another on the short path around the color wheel, or the HSB long path from one color to another on the other side of the wheel. Simply just click OK and the color spread will be mapped to the fixtures. We are now ready with setting our values. So we would like to start saving this as a queue. And this is the third step. Choose a queue list in which you would like to save this scene, double click the QL plus the number. Inside of the queue list, simply just click onto the record queue button in the top left. You can give this queue a name now. And you can also choose if this queue should be added on the end of the current queue list or inserted before the current queue. Let's go ahead and program a second queue. Put down the queue list window a little bit and simply just choose another color. Once you have chosen a second color, simply just go back to the queue list window and record another queue. Give it a name again and just confirm it. Now that we would like to play this queue list, we will see that there will be no change on the fixtures at all because they are still touched in the programmer view and the programmer view has priority over the output view. In order to clear the programmer view, just click onto the clear programmer icon in the top right and the programmer view will be cleared. Now we click onto the output view, we can see what kind of DMX data is being sent out by the queue list. As the queues are now set to a manual control, clicking the play button will fade over to the next queue. 